Hi guys, it is a gray, foggy, gloomy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in the deep in the heart of Texas. And my name is Sam Mitchell. This is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza. And you have stumbled into Collapse Chronicles, where we spend uh, at least uh, at least every morning chronicling the collapse of global industrial civilization and more importantly the planet and uh, I have received two inquiries this week from people who do not understand why I have an It's Girl Scout Cookie Time sign uh, as the backdrop to my stage here at Collapse Chronicles as I told this fellow yesterday. If, if you do not understand why a, an It's Girl Scout cookie time, uh, if you don't understand the relevance to this sign, to the collapse of civilization and the planet, obviously I, I am failing miserably to communicate. Uh, it's Girl Scout cookie time. It is the perfect, the perfect metaphor for every single thing that is wrong with this civilization and this planet. Everything about Girl Scout cookies uh, it is why this civilization and this planet are going down the toilet. Uh, it is Girl Scout cookie time at the end of 2019. You need to get out there and cram all of the Girl Scout cookies you can uh, into your face while you still can because Girl Scout cookie time is, is coming to an end. I assure you that uh, Girl Scout cookie time which is the metaphor for the 21st, the early 21st century. It will soon no longer be here. But anyway, it, just keep listening and maybe you will, uh, you will figure out the absolutely hilarious, unintentional humor, the dark, twisted, black, ironic humor of the, the little Be Prepared Girl Scouts. And their slogan, I uh, would tell you the story of how I came to get the Girl Scout cookie uh, time sign. But I don't have time for that because it is Friday morning, the last Friday in, uh, in 2019 as we careen out of control towards 2020. So this will be the final edition of my Manga Bay dot com roundup rant. Uh, Mangabay.com, as I say, is the number one, in my opinion, the number one best chronicler of the collapse of a planet uh, I th that <clears throat> I turn to. So every week they have a, a newsletter and I highly encourage you to go on Mangabay, M-O-N-G-A-B-A-Y B-A-Y dot com and get it yourself. Oh yes, but before I uh, dive dive into this week's roundup of assaults against Girl Scout cookie time, uh, I need to send, I guess for the last time in 2019, a huge thank you to uh, kind-hearted listener Marty Knudsen. Marty Knudsen uh, for his kind uh, Christmas donation to my PayPal account. Marty is, I have no idea who this man is. He is one of my angels. And Marty, I really, really appreciate your support for my work and anyone else who has ever supported what I do on YouTube. Uh, Sancho Ponza and I really do appreciate the support. And with that pleasant task behind, for the last time in 2019, we're going to turn to Manga Bay and start our romp around a collapsing planet 
which uh, not surprisingly begins the first, is it first two? Uh, the first two, we're going to go down to the Amazon rainforest in Brazil. <coughs> they lead off with an interview uh, with, uh, I guess this is some sort of biologist, it's unclear, but some one of them environmentalists named Antonio Donato Nobre and uh, talking about the state of the Amazon rainforest at the close of 2019 and they picked the quote the forest is sick the forest is sick and losing its carbon sequestration capacity uh, so Antonio is a researcher uh, for the Center of Land System Science uh, and in this interview, he describes the state of degradation threatening the very future of the Amazon rainforest. Nobre fears the forest is nearing what he describes as a tipping point after which it will no longer be able to regenerate on its own, thus embarking on the path to desertification. Quote, this is not about protecting the forest simply to please environmentalists. The living forest is essential for the survival of human civilization. Close quote. And uh, I cannot think of a better chronicle of the collapse of civilization than the collapse of the Amazon rainforest. This is how all of these uh, various collapses are just intertwined together. People always try to tease apart the economic collapse from the social collapse, from the ecological collapse. They all build on and feed each other as we careen out of control. Okay, so, you know, being, uh, going into 2020, I'm sure we're going to have several roundups. This is looking at Brazil uh, over the last decade. What has happened in Brazil over the last decade? Brazil on the precipice from environmental leader to environmental despoiler. Yes. Brazil's 21st century environmental record is most easily visualized via Amazon deforestation. Poor regulation and lawlessness led to peak deforestation in 2004 <coughs> and then uh, they actually started to work on that um, and then so things actually got better uh, in 2010 through 2012 and then of course uh, then under Michael Tamer deforestation rates began to rise again and the rate saw its biggest jump this year under President Jair Bozo Nero with a loss of 8,972 square kilometers, the worst deforestation since 2008. Also this decade, the Amazon saw numerous hydroelectric project controversies, including the construction of the Belo Monte Mega Dam, two huge hydro uh, projects on the Madeira plus multiple dams on the Telas Pires River. Uh, <clears throat> Brazil's ruralist agribusiness interest consolidated power first under Tamer and more so under Bozo Nero launching multiple attacks on indigenous and traditional land rights. 
uh, Bozo Nero's anti-environmental and anti-indigenous policies are a mark of his administration. It is the basis of his administration, a trend expected to continue in 2020. There you go. But let's move from the rainforest in Brazil to the rainforest in Papua New Guinea. Probably, you know, the most isolated large expanse of rainforest left on planet Earth where we see, wow, deforestation for rubber plantation raises concerns in Papua New Guinea. Uh, if, if palm oil don't get you, the rubber will. Uh, they're talking about here a 48 square mile rubber plantation began in mid-2018. Uh, so we have logging roads and uh, all the usual. Uh, like Papua New Guinea as a whole, Manus is home to a wide variety of unique wildlife. Just one aspect of the forest on which human communities have also depended for thousands of years. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, what else is new? Uh, Let's see, here's an article on the red colobus monkey. In case you're unaware of this, <clears throat> red colobus monkeys are threatened by hunting and loss of forest habitat. Hmm, imagine that. Uh, okay, we have some uh, top ten stories uh, here they're looking at some of the ocean stories that I have already gone over this year. Uh, here is research documenting rapidly unfurling effects of climate change in the ocean painted a dire picture of the present and future ocean. These threats include accelerating sea level rise, more severe marine heat waves, and more frequent coral bleaching events. And don't forget the plastic and the deep sea mining and the overfishing and the general pollution. Anyway, uh, move. I think we've heard it all before, and I assure you we will hear it all again in 2020. Uh, here's this article uh, looking at, quote, tainted timber. Uh, this illegal log, they're mostly looking at uh, illegal teak coming out of Southeast Asia that these one percenters are somehow getting their hands on uh, the, this uh, critically endangered hardwood to build their million dollar yachts with over there in Europe. I uh, can't imagine how billionaires are getting their hands on critically endangered tropical hardwoods to build their million dollar yachts. Okay, wow, uh, this will obviously be a, a more and more important story as the 2020s the plow on, and this is the oil palm industry. You know, palm oil is a major, major ingredient of Girl Scout cookies. Girl Scout cookies are the poster child of palm oil. Uh, how I, I think the Girl Scouts, aren't they some... I, I think the Girl Scouts are child slaves for the Nabisco Corporation, 
when you dig down. Of course, the Nabisco Corporation is a major, major uh, hawker of palm oil. Uh, so now, since they've already pretty much used up Southeast Asia, they're moving into Latin America and uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. This is looking uh, at some uh, a 60,000 hectares. That's about 150,000 acres of Cameroon forest uh, is getting ready to be bulldozed to set up a 150,000 acre oil palm plantation in Cameroon. And what's bad for Cameroon is bad for the rest of sub you know, all around the Congo uh, forest and anywhere else in the tropics. Okay. Wow. Uh, you will not believe that European and Chinese soy consumption is linked to species impacts in the Brazilian Cerrado. Yes. The Brazilian Cerrado, the world's largest tropical savanna, is a biodiversity hotspot with thousands of unique species and is home to 5% of our planet's biodiversity. However, Half of the Cerrado has already been converted to agriculture, and much of it is now growing soy, which is exported abroad, particularly to the European Union and China, primarily as animal feed. There you go. Do you think so? Uh, new research has found that the consumption of Brazilian soy just by European countries has been especially detrimental to the giant anteater, which has lost 85% of its habitat to soy bean farming. Do you think so? Uh, anyway, guys, uh, I don't know. Uh, I am about one-fourth of the way through this. Uh, here is looking at uh, coal use in Indonesia. Uh, I anyway, we, we get it. Uh, here's another story about a new species that is probably going to be extinct. This is some monkey. A brand new monkey species has been discovered uh, in the middle of all of this ongoing deforestation in Brazil. Uh, Anyway, you can kiss goodbye this new monkey before scientists even understand it. Uh, let's see, here's a story about coral reefs. Here's a story about all of these uh, palm oil uh, fires in Indonesia. Yes, uh, I thought we went over that story last week. Okay, uh, this is their roundup of 10 noteworthy books on conservation and the environment from 2019. Uh, I have not read one single book. I, I managed to get through an entire year. Did I get through an entire year without reading one single book? 
surely I read one book in the year 2019, but I, I cannot recall reading a book in 2019. Does anybody read books anymore? Anyway, uh, here is this uh, uh, you know, talking about moving making a brand new capital city in Indonesia. Uh, the plan this this uh, this plan to relocate the country's capital from Jakarta to uh, a, to Borneo uh, <laughs> you know anybody uh, who does not understand what the collapse is going to look like let's just move the the biggest slum obviously what they're trying to do guys here I mean you know if you if you don't realize what's going on is they're trying to move all of the you know the rich people are packing up and leaving and, and leaving the slum dwellers in uh, Jakarta to fend for themselves they will be the left behind and then they're gonna you know destroy this rainforest in Borneo uh, so all the the rich folks in Jakarta can make their escape uh, can run for the hills from Mad Max but of course in a few years Mad Max is gonna follow them there um, All right, this is, I guess, just another version of the uh, of that first story uh, I mentioned. Quote, the tipping point is here. It is now, close quote, top Amazon scientists warn. Uh, in the past, climate modeling has indicated an approaching Amazon tipping point when global climate change combined with increasing deforestation could result in a rapid Amazon shift from rainforest to degraded savanna and shrubland releasing massive amounts of carbon into the atmosphere when the world can least afford it. Now, scientists Carlos Nobre and Thomas Lovejoy, I've interviewed Thomas Lovejoy about this, report that researchers are now seeing evidence in both the atmosphere and on the ground that this tipping point has been reached and will worsen if no action is taken immediately to reverse the situation. When, of course, we have uh, Bozo Nero at the reins, uh, heading in the opposite direction. Uh, it is urgent, scientists say, that Brazil move away from unsustainable agribusiness monocultures of cattle, soy, and sugarcane. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, that, that's really gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. The Amazon is already tipping over. I was just reading uh, in my collapse, in my chronicle of the collapse yesterday, how this happened 50,000 years ago in, uh, in Australia, when Australia, thanks just to the few primitive humans down there, went through its own tipping point from rainforest to scrubland. Uh, this is exactly what is happening. You will, over the next 20 years, you will watch the Amazon rainforest disappear off the face of this planet. Kiss 
the Amazon rainforest and the Brazilian Cerrado right next to it goodbye. It is over and done with. The fat lady is singing in the Brazilian Amazon. And if that's not enough, how about illegal gold miners causing irreversible damage to rivers in the Brazilian Amazon? A surge in illegal gold mining in the Brazilian Amazon is causing a dramatic rise in both water pollution and deforestation as speculators clear swaths of forest along the riverbanks to make way for makeshift mines. Yes, these mines have invaded well into Kayapo indigenous territory, a vast region home to several indigenous groups, including some that live in voluntary isolation from the outside world. Deforestation has already more than doubled in the protected area since 2000. Yes. Uh, do you think so? Uh, it is illegal to mine on indigenous lands, but local sources claim this is not stopping illegal miners. Huh. Do you think so? Uh, many point to the rhetoric of Brazil's new president, Jair Bozo Nero, as a key factor that has emboldened illegal miners. Uh, the controversial far-right le leader, who has his own past as a miner, has repeatedly railed against land protections as an obstacle to mining and development. Yes, his, his government is now pushing forward a controversial bill that would just make it legal to mine inside indigenous territories. And then, of course, it does mention in here the little thing that I was talking about when I was down there in 2009 in the Peruvian Amazon. It does mention the uh, inconvenient truth that a lot of Amazon Indians, uh, the ones being uh, affected by this, are working at the illegal gold mines. Where do you think they're finding people to mine the gold? It is the Indians living there. Uh, Jesus, don't get me going. Uh, more stuff on Indonesian fires. Uh, here is a look uh, going back how many thousands of years, you know, talking about people killing monkeys with, uh, with rocks, basically. Uh, gee, the, the population of pangolins must have been about 100 billion uh, 10 years ago. Gee, here is uh, scales from around 50,000 pangolins seized by Chinese customs. Uh, Chinese customs officials seized over 23 metric tons of pangolin scales last week. This massive amount of scales would have been ex extracted from around 50,000 pangolins and represents the single largest seizure of wildlife products in China in the year 2019. The scales originated in Africa. There you go. Uh, one uh, more look at the failed climate 
talks Parasaccord impossible to implement if tropical forest loss is not stopped. <clears throat> Human activity is already threatening 80% of the world's forest with destruction or degradation. Deforestation is also putting ecosystems in 50% of the world's biodiversity at risk along with forest peoples. Atop that, dense intact tropical forests serve as vital carbon sinks. Yes, until now, of course. Uh, so, 17% of the Amazon uh, has been cleared. Another 20% has been degraded. In 2019, the deforestation rate there shot up 30%. And, and now the risk is that climate change combined with deforestation could lead to an Amazon forest collapse with huge releases of carbon. I think we get it. Here uh, is some story about plastic trash in the Philippines. Uh, good Lord, anybody who does not understand the uh, <clears throat> collapse of a planet, just Google plastic trash in the Philippines. Guys, uh, I, I could keep going with this with the final edition of the Manga Bay Roundup for 2019. Good Lord, 2020, here we come. But I've got to wrap this up because the uh, little dog and I uh, have to unload our gas-sucking truck with the first half of all of this uh, planet nibbling crap from Lowe's to go back to Lowe's for the second load. All of this planetary destruction is so I can build a fence. Uh, so I can build a fence to block out Mad Max unfolding in the heart of Texas about 70 feet from where I am sitting in this chair. Mad Max is in full swing and uh, your chronicler of the collapse needs to go build a fence to stop Mad Max. Uh, wish me luck on that. Oh yeah, so if you did enjoy uh, the last Manga Bay Roundup of 2019, by all means, please take a few minutes to uh, few seconds to thumb up this video. If you did not enjoy the final Manga Bay Roundup, please take a few seconds to uh, thumb it down and by all means do subscribe to Collapse Chronicles because I assure you the Chronicle is getting ready to go through the stratosphere as the Collapse gains speed as the 2020s begin in, what is it, five days, five days, uh, 2020, here we come. Get out there and enjoy Girl Scout cookie time while you still can. Bye guys, I am off to Lowe's Superstore.